most roller coasters at the bottom of this pit will be pulling the highest positive g-forces. Pushing you into your seat. Pushing you into your seat that actually makes you, in this case, looking around four times heavier than you actually are. Hang on a second. Time for a quick intro to the roller coaster designer's best friend. G-force. The normal weight of any body is due to the force of gravity. Because centrifugal force changes your effective weight, we measure it in terms of the pull of gravity and use the expression G. 1G is baseline. Normal, boring, everyday gravity we feel when sitting still. My sat bike not at all sure I was going to enjoy the next 60 seconds. But when we get moving, G-force can be positive or negative, depending on its direction. Oh, it's the end of the world. No, we're about 100 feet, we're going backwards. And the loop is getting up. Positive G-force is what happens when you move in the opposite direction to gravity, like when the coaster is speeding upwards. It pushes you down and makes you feel heavy. What John, our master manipulator of G-Force, has done on Hyperia is push negative G-Force when you move in the same direction as gravity to its limits. Blood is forced towards the head. Your stomach is shoved up towards your chest. Uh, pardon me. To create a feeling of weightlessness. Oh, my goodness. Such an amazing view. We're at the very top. Yeah. 236 feet. Here we go. Whoa! Oh, my God! Wow! <laughs> oh, wow, that is unreal! Oh, my goodness me! OK, let's hold that fear face right there. Here I am upside down. So what is the wizardry pinning me to my seat and stopping the entire carriage from plummeting to the ground? Time to crack open the physics again. Can I have an orange pot, please? I want to tell you about centripetal force. Thank you very much. And I'm going to do it with this tray, a bit of string, my fizzy pop and a plastic poncho. Lesson number one. Every object wants to continue travelling in a straight line. That is unless something, like a tray, gets in the way. Now, if I start slowly swinging this back and forth, there are two important things that happen. The cup wants to travel in a straight line. It wants to fly off in that direction, but the tray keeps getting in its way. And as a result, the cup is feeling a continual force upwards towards my hand. That, my friends, is the centripetal force. So, centripetal force keeps an object moving on a curved path. For the tray, it's the string forcing it to rotate. For a coaster, it's the track. Every force has an equal and opposite reaction. That means that the feeling, the sensation of the cup and the drink is one of being pushed downwards into the tray. Even, hopefully, we'll see, if I go all the way around. Oh. There's a reason I'm wearing a poncho, right? Oh! <laughs> I'm probably going to reposition it to the centre because it's already slipped. Look at that! And the faster I go, the more it pushes into the tray. 